Let's solve this application. Two cars leave from the same point, traveling in opposite directions. One travels at a constant rate of 50 miles per hour, while the other travels at a constant rate of 65 miles per hour. How long will it take for them to be 460 miles apart? Now we should be able to recognize this as a distance rate and time problem. So as a first step, let's write down the equation distance is equal to rate times time, or d equal rt. And I think a picture is helpful at this next step. We've got cars starting at the same point, going in opposite directions. One travels at 50 miles per hour, the other at 65 miles per hour. And the question is, how long is it going to take for them to be a total of 460 miles apart? Another helpful tool is to then organize our information in a table where we put in the variables rate, time, and distance, car one and car two. Let's let car one be the one traveling at the rate of 50 miles per hour, and car two be the car traveling at 65 miles per hour. Now the question that we're asked to find is time. They both start at the same point when the time clock starts, and then they travel both for the same amount of time until they time is stopped when they're 460 miles apart. So time, t, is the variable for both of these. They both travel the same amount of time, t. Via the formula d equal rt, we can fill in this last column. The distance for car 1 is 50t, and the distance for car 2 is 65t. And together, they travel a total of 460 miles. Our equation is going to come from this last column where we sum these distances and let the distance of car 1, 50t, plus the distance of car 2, 65t, equal that total distance of 460 miles. That's the hard part. Now let's solve the equation. Combining like terms, 50t plus 65t is a 115t. That's equal to 460. As a last step, divide both sides by 115 to yield t is equal to 4. The amount of time that it's going to take for these cars to get 460 miles apart is 4, and don't forget your units on that, hours.